Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Now I am planning to show you that that what means and how we can remove this engine file record if I I have if I have this engine file record what number is P0304 like P304 is this faulty code and we can get this faulty code so that we we have this our car and then we connect in here there is one specific place and we can insert in here in that slot this diagnostic tool and then we can see that what is wrong in this my car that why there is this faulty code on because now I don't have anything else warning light but only this diagno this engine file record is on and then I visited in this car uh, this uh, diagnostic uh, work workplace like in dealership or some other who can take those computer data in car diagnostic and I I got this error message for this 304 and and this actual data is 300 P0304 okay and then then that means that my this this 304 means that my car's cylinder number four there is ignition coil error and next I need to replace that cylinder uh, cylinder four's ignition coil and let's go to do that in my engine array. Hello and welcome. How are you doing, my friend? Next, I am planning to show you that how to reset and remove engine file record what number is P0304 and like 304 P304 engine file record and what that means? It means that now I have issue in this my engine's cylinder 4 and the issue is in this cylinder 4 area it is ignition coil issue that I need to replace ignition coil for this cylinder 4 position and first step is to look that where are my ignition coils and I need to take this plastic cover out and it happens in that I need 10 millimeter socket and then friends and then there is one and two nuts what I need to remove and there is this nut it looks like that it's a specific nut and ten second Okay, now nuts are away and then I can take this plastic cover out. It is in here. And there is insulation, sound insulation in here. And then we can see one, two, three, four ignition coils. This one. And then we need to know that what is in here is this cylinder four. And it's easy to know when we know where is our, our car's timing belt or timing chain and its position is in here normally it's same line as in, in here and we can check also in oil oil area or something else that where is this timing belt and the first cylinder between this timing belt is number one and then number two number three and there is number four and this is our issue that one. And then I need to take that cylinder 
this cylinder force ignition coil out and first step is to take this electric cable this one and it, it opens in that way that I only press that other in here and then lift up. press this other press press and lift and then then there is one 10 mm bolt and for that I need this 10 mm socket and friends. Okay, and then I take this bolt out in that way and there is this bolt. It looks like that. Okay, then I can lift up this coil, a little bit movement, and then up. Sometimes this, this could be okay. And there is this coil. Okay. And now we have issue in that coil. It is somehow in some way it's broken and I need to purchase new one. And there I have new coil and then I install that in back. Okay, it it went there nicely. And then I install this bolt back. Bolt back. In that way. And then electric cable back. Well, good. Okay, and now now this ignition coil has been replaced. And then I need to Then I need to reset these cars, this file record, and it was this idea that I need to re reset my car's computer, and for that job I need to take this batteries minus cable away. And for that job I need 10 millimeter friends. Opening in that way, and then a little bit movement and lift up and here. Okay, now, now when this battery cable is away, I need to wait something like one minute, and then this my car's computer it has been resetted, and engine file record three zero four is away, and. And then I need to next connect this battery cable back and then I need to install this plastic cover in there and then I can start to run my car and drive. Okay, and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you.